this presentation will be a, a seven slide presentation and a, a live demo. Uh, on the, uh, this is about uh, the FRAM 71 and this FRAM 71B module. record has left the meeting. That has been made by Hans Brueggemann. It's that module is basically a uh, RAM that it's uh, that you add to an HP 71B handheld computer that expand the RAM um, uh, on the machine. And you can configure it differently. Uh, so you can replace the OS or uh, add a RAM to a specific place that, that sometimes is needed for the ROM modules, the fourth module, sorry. Um, there's, for each module, the FRAM 71 was the first um, generation modules and the 71B was the second generation. Uh, the first uh, FRAM 71 was only available mostly in 512K. Uh, there are a couple of uh, one megabyte that has been made. Uh, on the FRAM 71B, uh, you could buy it in the 512K or one megabyte but in both cases, the one mega, the five, the the one megabyte was made both mostly a 512k with an a, a, a daughter board, a memory add-on daughter board of 512k. So um, that's it. That the configuration uh, string is the same for both, but has different meaning depending on the module. So that's the the Fran 71 module. Uh, this. Uh, this is a configuration spreadsheet that allow you to create a configuration string to configure the uh, module. Uh, but there's a lot of gotcha in the, the when you do the configuration, and it's very easy to uh, uh, not do the configuration correctly. So the spreadsheet try to prevent you to do that. Uh, the, uh, the, the, there are two versions of the spreadsheet, one for Apple numbers and one for Microsoft Excel. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I develop on both, uh, but uh, I haven't tried it on Excel for Windows, but I'm assuming that it's gonna work. There is no macro, that's, it's only uh, uh, standard functions that has been used, so that should work. I've, I've, I've bought Excel 2021 for Mac and try it on it, and but uh, Microsoft Excel to well, all the product of 2021 crashes when you try to try to start it. it it's, they're not working right now and they released an update and it's still not working. So I had to de uninstall it and reinstall 2016. Uh, the presentation and the uh, configuration spreadsheet is available on the uh, Museum of HP Calculator at that space. So also the, uh, there's a bug in Excel 2016 that if you try to do conditional color formatting, uh, for one color is work, it's working, but as soon as you add the second one, everything crash. I tried on several try to set, make it works, but it's not. So the Excel, you will see that when you have error, you can have uh, on the Apple number, you have the color coding. You don't have that on Excel. So that's what's looked like uh, the, uh, the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has 16 rows uh, representation, representing one chip. Uh, in the 71B, uh, you have a module a module is built on chip, uh, and this is uh, how you configure the FRAM uh, module also. So you create chip, and a set of chip will create a module. So that, and at the bottom, you see the configuration string, the POKE 2C00, and the following. That's actually the one, the command that you have to enter on the 71B when uh, you have a, a valid configuration. So this is now how you configure that, how you use a spreadsheet. The first thing is that you select the module. You can select 71 or 71B. Then for each row, you will uh, activate or not the row. 
uh, that will add the uh, virtual chip to the configuration string. String. Then you select if this is the last chip in the module or not. So when you have only one, uh, you create a module for a chip, you have only one, you, you will select that. But if you have several chip in a module, you will select that option only on the last one. Then you have to select what type of chip is it? A chip is it RAM, ROM, hard configured RAM, hard configured ROM? Uh, chip size. You can select 32K, 16K. On the Fram 71, you have 8K option. On the Fram 71B, you don't have that anymore. You have if you have a, the the one megabyte version, you can select between the standard 32K or the top, who is actually the bottom 32K and the top 32K. So that's the T32K. Then you have to select the memory block in the FRAM. It's zero to 15. Uh, zero and one has special meaning. Two is reserved for configuration. So actually you have three to 15 available for most of the, the configuration. And then you can enter, enter uh, the chip usage. This is a, basically a comment. So as you enter that, you will have uh, a section which is called input validator, and that will validate the row and also the spreadsheet, the, the, mult, the, the module in itself with a multiple row configuration. You have also the configuration builder, that space will try to build the, 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 the number that will be added to the configuration at the poke at the bottom. So that's basically how to do this. Now, if you look at a, a, an example of a, a good configuration, you have here uh, all the rows that has the configuration has been uh, en enabled. Those are mostly two, two chip modules configuration. You have a set of RAM, ROM, uh, you have chip size, um, the memory block that's been used. And the validator is mainly, mainly magic numbers that is being used inside to validate uh, the input. And then at the right, you see the, the builder was basically creating, uh, assigning chip numbers, addresses, and uh, configuration value, and the port that will result uh, when you're gonna use on the 71. And at the bottom, you have the full configuration string that you're gonna enter. Next, if you have an, a non-valid configuration, you will see color-coded errors. And uh, you will see that validators will generate errors. Builder will not be able to build correctly. And the configuration string will not appear. So the configuration uh, string only appear when everything is working and has valid values inside. Um, on the spreadsheet, you have the first page you will see it's an information page. That page contain uh, the, the description of all the columns and the title and what it does and all the options for the input, the validators, the builders, and the configuration at the bottom. Also, you see on the right side the uh, error that you will see in the spreadsheet if you make an invalid configuration. Uh, the name and the description of what it is. And also you have rules. There's rules for 71B. You cannot, um, uh, a module must be completed with the, else the last chip in modules. Uh, mixing, you can only have the same type. You cannot mix a mod, you cannot have a module with a mixing RAM and ROM. Uh, all the chip must be on the same size. So if you select to have 8K or 16K chip, all the chip in a module might have 16K. Uh, on the front 71 b with one megabyte mod, uh, one megabyte option, you can mix though the 32K and the, the bottom 32K and the top 32K because it's 32K, it's okay. Memory block two is reserved, cannot be used because it's reserved for configuration. Uh, hard configuration address, for the translator ROM and the fork ROM uh, can only be used on chip zero. And system RAM uh, for frame block zero and one uh, is actually supported. I haven't uh, forgot to remove that. 
So that's it. We're going to go to, I'm going to trying to unshare that and sharing a spreadsheet. How can I do stuff sharing? While he's looking for that, I'll add one thing of explanation for people who are not 71 users. The way this works is uh, it it's connected on the card reader IO ports and you just poke an ASCII string into that port and that is how Hans uh, uses uh, basic IO to configure it. So what this thing is doing is building up the string that you poke in there that you otherwise manually figure out by going through this whole process by hand. Um, so this is going to dramatically ease the, the ability for people that um, uh, want to configure this and don't want to fight through it each time. I can tell you from experience that after you don't do this for several months, you kind of have to learn it all over again. Yes, and also you get the difference between 71, the France 71 standard and the France, the, the first generation of France 71 and the France 71 B was a little bit different. Um, okay, do you see the spreadsheet? Yep, it's a little bit small, if you can make it bigger. Uh, okay. Is it okay? Is it bigger? Yeah, yep. much better. Okay, I can put it really bigger. Oops, no, that will not work. Oh, on. that's good. Yeah, that's good. The full screen one there that you had. Wow. I, I was worried because I have a 4K screen. <laughs> so, uh, okay, the the um, uh, that's the the page that was the first page that show you the um, the options. You got a template, and I've put a worksheet. Normally, what I do is I I uh, duplicate the template. So uh, and I move that to the end, and I will say configure config zero one. Okay. So what happened? If I click enable here, at first I select which module I want to. So it's either FRAM or FRAM 71B. You can change that at any time, but the, the whole spreadsheet will only work with only validate against one module at a time. So let's say a FRAM 71B module, if I enable it, you will see that right away you got a lot of errors. You got, uh, because I have not selected the others, it will say that the last uh, last chip in the module is missing. You got missing value here and error. It's not able to build correctly. So as I populate the thing, uh, you will see that the error are removed. So I'm gonna I'm, the, I'm gonna create one chip, one module chip. So I'm gonna select RAM here and 32K and I'm going to assign the block three. I could put any comment here. Can you and make when I do that? Comment? Sorry? Sorry? Make it larger. The screen okay. is small. OK, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Is this good? Better. OK. So right now I've created a module as everything is okay. Chip zero has been uh, assigned. The first two address is able to create the good configuration. It's, it's port five in the 71B. Uh, if you uh, um, free that port, it will have that address. And the string at the bottom is the configuration you must enter in order to have, when you do that, you're adding actually 32K of RAM to the 71B. If I create another one, again, with one module, when one chip in a module, let's say I'm doing the same as before, and I'm assigning a different one. When I, I right now I'm adding a second 32K to the, to the 71B. Uh, if you free that, you're gonna see that it's, for, it's gonna be at port 5.01. And the configuration string at the bottom is uh, 9394.00. Now, 
Now I could, uh, instead of having two different module, I could have one memory modules of comp composed of two chip of 32K. And if I do that, I will remove that option here, the last chip in module, and I just create a module with two chip of 32K. And the chip are there, and then you will see that now the two chip, you have only one port of 64K. If I do the same again, again for the same thing, 32K, I'm giving, all, all the time I'm giving a different memory block. And if I remove the last chip, now I have a 90, uh, 96K modules built with three chip of 32K. Now, if I try to do things like uh, same memory block, you will say that uh, you cannot have two chip with the same memory block. That will not work. And uh, you, will see an, you will have an error. Uh, same thing here, if you select any RAM here, it will say that there's an error, but that may not be an error here. If I if I create three modules, that's no problem because each modules have only one chip, and there's not error. But if you want to try to select multiple uh, chip type in the same module, that will not work. Those are kind of error you could do, and when you do this manually, and you you can spend some time trying to figure it out. Um, okay, also if I try to use, uh, if I'm used, try to use a memory block two, it will give you an error because uh, that's a reserve value. You cannot, it's used for configuration. If you try to use memory uh, block zero or one, <coughs> it will say that it's a good one, but it's a system uh, memory. And you have a warning at the bottom saying that it's a system FRAM. Uh, you have to add a jumper, and also you have a LED that's going to be light up, and that has, that will drain the battery. So normally you don't use that. You use 0 and 1 if you want to replace the OS. Uh, like if you have a 1 BBB ma machine and you want to have a 2 CDCC machine, you can replace the OS, load into the from a new version of the OS, and then activate that. And when you do that, you do, you place that into the system uh, RAM, and with a special module jumpers, you 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 replace that. Um, also, hard configuration. If you want to select, uh, let's say I'm I'm selecting the three. Also, oh yeah, uh, all the enable you can disable a module at any time. And if you disable that, everything, all the configuration will adjust. So it will not use, it will use the first row, not the second one, the third row, and the address here are dynamically reassigned and everything is uh, dynamic. Okay, if I take the first one and say, I want to use it as, um, as a hard configuration, I, I'm going to go here, select the last chip in the module, and say I can use the hard configuration RAM. When you do that, that means that you want to populate that with the fourth RAM, uh, the, hard, the, the hard configuration space. The port will disappear because that will not be showed. It's in part of the configuration, but it will not be shown. Um, if you try to do this, on a second, let's say I'm, there, I'm using this, it will say that you cannot define a second hard configuration RAM or even define one with a chip different than zero. It must be the first chip. If I disable the first row, uh, the hard configuration RAM become the first chip in the, in the chain. That will work. But if you try to define the second one, that's all kinds of little bit here and there that you have to be aware when you create a configuration that can bite you. So that's it. I have, you got on the website, on the HP forum, the, the configuration is there. Uh, the templates, the presentation is there. You got a small transaction also. 
And I have, uh, hold on. You will also, I don't know if you can see the new one. Close this one. Okay. You also are on the um, on the forum. You will see another another version with the development version. When you have uh, okay, I have to do this two hundred percent on each one. Uh, all the test cases that have been used that can also show you what's working, what's not working is part of that version of the spreadsheet. So you have here the spreadsheet test suite one with a single chip module configuration with good values. Uh, same thing for the, um, uh, the test uh, single chip, again, uh, the second test suite. But the third one, uh, it's uh, invalid chip, uh, invalid configuration one for one chip module and for each um, what I was trying to test on each one. Same thing here. Uh, so basically you got a single chip, then you're going to the multiple chip with good configuration and invalid configuration also. So that's it. Any questions? Thanks, Sylvan. Um, Eddie's asked on the chat, one hard RAM per configuration. I'm, I'm not sure if that was a question or a comment. Yes, because you can now, hard RAM is mapped to easy, uh, the E address. Uh, so it's, uh, you can only have one, but you, you can, uh, yeah. So you load, you loading like the fourth ROM or the translator ROM, you're gonna load the hard configuration part to that RAM. And then with a special, with, you're gonna reallocate that to the E address. Okay. okay. So you can only have one per configuration. Thank you. So, so the rest of the ROMs are like, you can just do your own user programs and store, and they're available for user, program, user programs and, uh, and files. But, but basically, with the FRAM, you're adding RAM to the 71B. So, uh, yeah, my video was stopped. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Ba uh, basically, uh, you, can, uh, you can add to the that RAM, or uh, when you add RAM, you can, add, you can put it on the system RAM, okay? Uh, or you can cr put that as an uh, uh, independent RAM. On the RAM side, is basically the same as RAM. It's just with this flag that's checked that is saying that it's a ROM. So normally, it's uh, what you do is that you define uh, an IRAM, you load the, the 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 module in it, and then you change the configuration to a ROM. Sylvain, to do that, can you simply um, configure them as RAM and then go load them all up? and then get to right string to change it. You just go through and go down the column and toggle RAM to ROM to generate the new string. Yeah, so what, I will do, what I will do is uh, uh, copy the template for the first configuration and then do my first, if I have multiple step configuration that I need to rechange the same configuration on and on, I will uh, first take the template and say config one. Let's make a copy of it. And then when the first one is done, I will copy the, the first configuration to and rename it as a second step yeah, and then okay. change my thing, copy the second step to the third step, change the thing. So I will have a spreadsheet with let's say six or seven steps inside and each step will uh, reflect the configuration at a specific time when I'm trying to load the, the like when I'm trying to load the OS and uh, different things. So when you want to um, define them as RAM, load them up with stuff and then reconfigure the ROM, all I have to do is go down the column and change RAM to ROM on the affected ports and I have the yeah. new string. But if I want to get to, to keep the history of my configuration, sure. Sure, I, will most, yeah. I, yeah. I will not copy the file, just copy the slide, the, 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 the tab. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. So, so I have all the, con the full configuration like in 
in eight or nine tabs inside the same spreadsheet. Right, for each machine, yeah. That's what I do. I, I keep a personality one for each machine. Yeah, that's it. Really impressive. As, as I've told you before, of course, real men figure this out the hard way and don't use spreadsheets, but really, really impressive. This has got to be one of the most complicated spreadsheets you've worked on for sure. Yeah, the problem is that I could not use macros because yeah. uh, Excel on Mac has different macro language and Excel on Windows. Uh, also, numbers is different. So I was trying to do this only on form with formula. And the problem is that that has to validate against rows. Right. So right. you have to validate on both rows and columns. Uh, and that was not easy. It took me six months to figure it out correctly. Really impressive. And po possibly uh, a question on many people's minds, if they've not got a FRAM, <clears throat> do we know if Hans is um, going to bring do another batch or is, is that it? My understanding is Hans will not do another batch. Okay, he has made, I think, three batches or four, but basically the first, uh, the first generation was 2015 with the Fram 71, and then in 2016 in the release, he made another batch for the Fram 71B. He made another batch in what, 2020, uh, 19? Yeah. He, 20. he made three batches and said that was the end, but then there yeah. was enough demand that he made the fourth batch. Um, but he said that's the end really i mean at this time the problem is that components are becoming uh hard to find yeah. and i think that what he says is that uh, he has gone on to other projects so basically what we have as fram uh, that, that on the market right now that's what's going to be so you have to you will have to buy from another user so uh, this is an appreciating asset then. <laughs> exactly, exactly right. Yes. I have several of them. <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Dan, sorry. You know, um, so uh, multi mod is an alternative to yes. Fram, but only for ROM. Is that right? Yes. Uh, uh, Dan, Dan is there, so we can. Uh... Mark made that. that oh was... yeah, yeah. Sorry, my fault. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's uh, it's not as powerful as Fram, but it's 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 like if you compare the Clonix module with the NOV module from uh, exactly. Diego Diaz. Exactly. It's basically, uh, the uh, multi mod module is for fl it's. Uh, flash based module you load the uh, module inside and then uh, you activate the module with the configuration is only one byte uh, uh, so you can deactivate the module activate the configuration that's there and you got a second a mod and the second option also to activate an extra 16k or 8k i think i don't remember if it's 8k or 16k the U, uh, U extra, uh, extra ROM, but uh, that's basically it. It's, so it's just can... for ROMs, and also yeah. it yeah. does not cover the case of the um, fourth, does it? Uh, wait, I think see. yes, but not the OS. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can do the fourth and the translator, but not the OS. Yeah. So it's yeah. a much simpler. There's no RAM per se. It's only ROM. Yeah. So you cannot but do something like a. Right now, I have. I'm going to show you something. Trying to put that so you can see it. Ooh. No, you're back. I will, I will uh, deactivate this <laughs> again. I don't know how. No, the stop video. Change virtual background. To stop and start the video again. Work? No. Okay, I'm selecting none, but it doesn't seem to work.
right? It is, uh, does anybody know if the multi mod is still available? Yes. It is, yeah. I think it is, yeah. So uh, HP 71 fans who don't have one of these, <clears throat> multi mod is your option at the moment. Yes, right now, yes. Yeah. But with the Fram, what you can do, I don't know if you're seeing it correctly. Yeah. Get the version of my ROM of the 71B right now. <laughs> so, and uh, this is the, the machine. Now, if I want, I'm using a special module. It's, got, it's called OD that you have to define that only works in port one. That when you plug that and with a good configuration, you select another version of the OS. So if, if I remove that module, and if I, I show the version, you will see that that machine is really a one BBB machine. Yeah. Okay. So this is done with the Fram 71B module. On the same machine right now, I have the one BBB, the two C uh, DCC, and the three EEEE. So depending on what I want to test, I can select which OS I want to run on. And this can only be done with the FRAM uh, module. Uh, but right now, you're right. The multimode module is the only one that is still available that you can buy. It's great. It's working great. Yeah. Uh, but it's also far module. cheaper than Fram. The multi mod yes. was very, very inexpensive. So anyone with a seventy one that just wants to be able, I mean, the, you can buy the multi mod for less than you would pay for one module, one ROM module on eBay. So uh, for most of them, so you can have pretty much anything you want there. It's a lot cheaper than the buying the module from eBay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. So right now, the only option is to buy it from a current user. That's okay. it. Thank, thank you. Question? So no, perfect. Any other questions? Flood yes. <clears throat> Does the raise hand icon not work? I can see it, but it's tiny. Uh, it's tiny. Yeah, sorry. All right. So I should shout or wave my hand or something. <laughs> Go on. Yes, Lodek, please. Okay. My first question was going to be, what's the chance of finding a Fram uh, on eBay? Uh, are they popping up? No. no. So the next question is, um, could you provide us with a link uh, to the multi-mod? I, I, I guess I can just look at it up on uh, Google probably, can't I? Well, you can go to the forum, but I will, I will give you a... Uh, uh, give me two, uh, two seconds and I will give you the link to it. Okay, thanks very much, Sylvain. Thanks for the talk. I think Bob's point about um, uh, you configure these things. I configured my perfect from 71B configuration. And if you ask me to go and redo that configuration now, I've got no idea how I would do it because it was such a... I've got a log file, which is pages and pages and pages of how to configure it. And um, so I'm planning on never touching the contents of that module if I can avoid it. <laughs> By That's analogy, why. I find it very similar to um, configuring the CL. After yeah. hours of reading the book and writing down notes, it's easy. But to just pick it up months later or a year later is just start all over again, for sure. Absolutely. Okay. I just put in the chat the link to the uh, thread that I create on the forum for oh, everything about Fran. Now I'm going to put also the other one for uh, Milsimani.